What's going on people? It's Uncle Muscles. How are you guys doing today? I want to show you guys a new motherboard I picked up for my streaming. This is the Gigabyte X99P SLI. It is a 2011 V3 socket motherboard. This is my first Intel gaming motherboard setup type of thing. I have made the switch people. I'm not trying to convince everyone else of the same thing. But for what I do, I needed to rock an Intel and I can't wait. I cannot wait until October or whenever the new Zen's coming out. So today I have purchased this new Gigabyte motherboard and I am very happy with it so far. It's got a lot of different things that I wasn't really expecting to come home with today, but it is a beauty. So let me tell you what's going on with it. We got four PCIe slots. This in combination with a 40 lane CPU can operate quad SLI or Crossfire GPUs at full capacity, which is excellent for my purposes. I love streaming and I want to be able to stream stuff at high quality FPS, but it's not the graphics cards you necessarily have to worry about. It's the CPU when you're streaming. So really the main, uh, the selling point of this board is that it runs the 2011 socket, 2011 V3 socket. And because of that, I have, and I'll show you over here. Oh, I didn't put it on the table, did I? Well, I also have a 5930K to put in there. Why do you have a 5930K for streaming and gaming? Why don't you have an i7 Devil's Canyon? You might be asking. Well, streaming uses a lot of processors, and if you go look at 3D Mark, I have the second, well, actually, I think it's the third or fourth best CPU for gaming in the 5930K. Uh, the 2011 V3 sockets are expensive. Uh, I was very lucky to get mine at Micro, Micro Center, uh, and I picked it up for 500 bucks very good plus tax so definitely guys keep an eye out for that but this is definitely what you're interested in if you're interested in streaming and playing video games at max ultra settings i will be streaming the htc vive so i am going to be using a fairly heavy computer load cpu load i need something that's going to be able to handle that i had to go with this board i was using the 8370 from amd but that wasn't cutting the mustard, guys. I'm really sorry about it. I'm a huge AMD fanboy. I still have my Fury X's, but uh, you know what? It just wasn't working out, so I had to upgrade. So I made the investment today. I hope you guys accept me in your community, Intel boys and girls. Team green or blue, whatever the hell. Definitely not team red. I don't know. I guess AMD is team red, but I think AMD is also team green, and Intel's team blue or team green. I don't know. Who cares? They're all just colors. Can't we all just be friends? Anyway, let me go a little bit more about this. Uh, motherboard. It's a beautiful motherboard. It's got USB 3.0. It comes with a display port. Talk about that next level shit. There's no HDMI port on here. Uh, the other thing is that I don't believe my GPU has uh, any, or uh, CPU has any integrated graphics. So I have to figure out how all this works yet. I'm still kind of not familiar with all that stuff. And you guys can definitely make fun of me for being a noob about that. That's totally fine. I don't even mind it. But it's also got a USB 3.0. Uh, 3.1 or sorry USB-C type and also USB 3.1 that's the red one so the blues are USB 3.0 the blacks are USB 2 it's got a little display port right here which I'll just take out so you guys can see very nice display port <clears throat> excuse me that's this gross little burp I just made I just had some balls energy drink and it's giving me the burps balls gives me the burps anyway uh, and then uh, yeah you got the red one which is the 3.1 it's uh, faster uh, transfer speed and then you got these the quad SLI here now the odds of me using all four of these are pretty slim I already have two graphics cards so I'll definitely be using two that was a major reason why I invested in this 5930k uh, um, the main difference between the 5930k and some of the other 2011 v3 processors is that it has 40 channels of information this gives you or 40 lanes of information this gives you uh, just basically better better capabilities of doing crossfire and SLI so that's why I got it and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and this is all for the stream guys so if you guys are appreciating it Appreciate all this content I'm making. Definitely hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're liking me on YouTube. Definitely check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles, guys. Check me out on my website, unclemuscles.com. Check out theworstteamever.com. That's all me and my mates. We're trying to get serious about this business, boys. So get it now. Get it while it's young, babies, because we ain't going to be laughing for long. This train ain't going to be sitting here for long, boys. About to be the part of the station going down to Hollywood making all that money. I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway, this is a great motherboard. It comes with your SLI and your Crossfire capabilities if your cards require that. It comes with a couple of SATA cables. Here's your backplate, blah, 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 blah. And it comes with display ports. Get at me, dog. It comes with a display to Thunderbolt port. What's that about, bro? Are we even serious right now? So I love that. So this is definitely Thunderbolt capable. I'm digging that. Um, 
or sorry, mini display. It's probably not Thunderbolt. It's probably a mini display. I probably shouldn't say Thunderbolt, but it's, it, they look the same. But it's probably a uh, it's a display to mini display. It comes with a couple adapters. Very nice board, man. I'm definitely happy with this. Um, I couldn't be happier. Minus the fact that I have like no money left in my uh, in my bank account, but that's what you get, man. AMD, you can save a little money. You can play games for uh, you know you can play games, but if you want to stream it, you're gonna need that i7. And if you're gonna get an i7, you better go balls deep, and that's what I did. There's one processor that's a little bit better. That's the uh, which one is it? The X, the 5960X. That's the eight core processor by AMD. I didn't go with that. Um, it actually scores a little bit lower in the 3D mark. Um, that's not the reason why I didn't get it. The reason why I didn't get it is because it cost $900 and that's from a good discount place. Um, but yeah, so I'll be showing a little bit more about that. And then once this computer is up and running, in fact, I'll just take you over to my, uh, this is where I stream guys. And this is my bad boy in here. This is the current AMD setup. It's got the 8370 in there and it's got my two Radeon Furies. Everything's all nice and stowed away for my Vive. This is my Vive setup. But yeah, guys, so if you like the video, definitely hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe shit and follow me on Twitch. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see y'all soon. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.